The Exposed Framework is a powerful tool that allows you to install ROM-like features without installing a ROM at all. This tool is considered a must-have for power users. Now there's plenty of tutorials online on how to get it installed and how to set it up, but there's not many videos out there as far as what are the top modules. Well today you're in luck because I, Kevin the Tech Ninja, is going to tell you the top modules for Exposed Framework. In no particular order, these are the top Exposed Framework modules. Leading off the list, we have Activity Force New Task. Now one of the main annoyances with Android is if you're in an application like Google Plus and you click on a YouTube video, it launches YouTube and plays the video, but once you press the back arrow, it actually takes you back to your launcher and not back to Google Plus. This module fixes the issue. This forces your system to create a new task when an application is launched. You can also pop over into options and set filters for different applications as well. The next module is one of those modules that is a must have for many users, including myself. This is Blacklist. This lets you block certain people from calling you or texting you. You can set up filters and exception lists as well. You have different profiles and a limited amounts of customization. You can easily go into recents and quickly add someone to your list as well. And from my experience, it works very, very effectively. I mean, you can block an SMS or you can block a call and it works every time. Have you ever wondered why some applications or games are always open no matter what you do? I mean, you can just reboot your device and two seconds later these applications or games are running in the background for some arbitrary reason. Well, you can fix that with Boot Manager. This simple tool lets you disable apps from starting up with your device. You simply click on the apps that you don't want to load when Android boots up. It's a minimalistic approach to help clean things up. Android gives us a lot of options. And when you have a lot of options, a big con is that sometimes it can slow down your workflow. And one of the workflows I'm talking about is the share option. With Complete Action Plus, you can modify the share option and you can customize the default applications window. For example, you can remove applications that you never use from the list. And also you can put stars next to applications that you do want to use more, so it moves it to the top of the list. You can change the size and modify the colors. There are dozens of options and configurations you can choose from, so install it and try it out. For the people out there that want to grab as much as they can out of their battery, you can then install a DS battery saver and make this your new best friend. This application lets you select from a list of battery profiles. You can optimize your battery and it gives you recommendations to save battery life. If you're envious of the Galaxy S5 in the battery saver mode, don't be because you can do pretty much the same thing in this application. Overall, this is a simple but yet powerful tool that can easily net you a few hours on your battery. I know security is very important when it comes to your device. You like to have a password or a pin or even your face to unlock your phone. But what about your apps? This module is called Protected Apps. With Protected Apps, you can use a system password to protect certain applications. This is a system level lock, so there's really no way to get around it. Once you launch the application, you then have to put in your system password to unlock it. And you can also dig into the settings and really customize how often it asks for that password. This is a tiny add-on, but it adds so much visual awesomeness to your device. This is Smooth Progress Bars. This does what it says. It makes your progress bars smooth as butter. This lets you tweak and adjust the loading bars. This is a small visual tweak, but once you have it installed, it's something you can't live without. And then it really makes you wonder why the Android progress bars are not as smooth. This one is for non-KitKat users or if you have an OEM skin on your phone. This makes your status bar translucent and is nicely named Tinted Translucent Status Bars. And what I really like about it is that it does the work for you. It has a built-in database that downloads the color profiles for you. And what it does is it makes your status bar the same color as the application. just a visual tweak to make things look a whole lot better. If you want further modification of your status bar or other UI elements, then look at Wanim. 
This lets you dig into the visual elements on your screen and then you can modify and make changes. Nothing groundbreaking, but just enough to make your device your own. Once you open the module, you go in there, you can pretty much click around and play with all the settings to come up with something you like. You can then even save it as a preset or you can go back to the way it was. This works best with AOSP ROMs and is also a TouchWiz version too. I didn't forget about your security nuts out there. X-Privacy is the way to go for security. X-Privacy is a featured rich security application. It allows you to have total protection of your information. You decide which applications have access to your information at all times. So I could tell Facebook that I don't want it to have access to my location, or I can even spoof a location. Now this is great, especially for games that want to have access to your contact list for some reason. Please water my farm. And there you have it guys. That was my top 10 exposed framework modules. As always, if I had something in the list that you never heard of and you tried it out and you liked it, go ahead and let me know down below and press the thumbs up while you're at it. And also, if you have a module that didn't make the list this time around, go ahead and leave it down below too so I can check that out for the next video. As always, guys, my name is Kevin the Tech Ninja. Make sure you like and subscribe to this channel because we are your source for all things Android. Take care, guys.